Today's video, I'm going to share a concept out of Naihanshi Shodan. The instructional video that is that I'm going to show is it's over 10 years old. Um, we shot it back in 2012, 2013, um, right after Taika passed away. Uh, we won. This was a technique that he had taught me during my Shodan test 10 years before that. So in two, 2003, and um, so I wanted to put this on into a video and have the explanation, have a video explanation of it. Um, and I, before I posted it out here onto the channel, I wanted to just give some context around it because I think it, it's an excellent illustration of uh, the importance of kata, the importance of isolating movements and concepts out of kata and drilling those in isolation. Uh, and then the importance of partner training. So I'm going to let that video run. I'll pop in. Uh, I'll show you the video of the uh, of some video from my Shodan test uh, where I first learned it, and then I'll show you the the Bogu clip or the Kumite clip where uh, where you use it in a uh, it's used in a full contact situation. And then I'll see you at the end of the video. Thanks. Now, ready for Gisha? So to start, is a step and cover, followed by a strike. Cover, strike. Cover, strike. Both sides, cover, strike. Cover, strike. So now both sides are, move, are put together. Only one step is taken though on the first on the first cover. So when we cover, we step, strike, and then pivot, strike. Same thing on the opposite side. We step, strike, pivot, strike. Over the course of the test, he had to speed this up so that it was covered immediately. Cover strike. From the ready position, he counted cover one, two with the foot up, three, strike. Again, one, two, three, strike. One more time. One, two, three, strike. We count the crossover from timing in seven counts, starting with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. At full speed. All right, now we'll demonstrate this against an opponent. 
So as the punch comes in, we're going to step off the center line, off the attack line and cover. Come up. Strike. If I count this with the footwork and the hand motion, one, two, three, strike. Just like we did when we did from the stationary ready position of one, two, three, strike. One, two, three, strike. The attack comes in. Hi. Again. One more time. Hi. The foot comes up with the second hand. So when we cover, cover, strike. Now if that third punch comes in, you should be already set up to make the cover. switch, turn to the other side, and start slowly again, cover, 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 strike, again, cover, cover, high, high, Right, so we're just going to explain a little bit about the foot motion uh, that, that's coming up here. When we cover, we're just going to move the leg, tap it. Um, this, isn't, this isn't a, uh, you know, we're not looking to kill the leg or strike it. It's all very fast. And as you bring that leg up through, you're using that to come back on the horizontal line. Now if you miss this, it doesn't matter. What the, the strike itself is going to be uh, what throws off the opponent. Uh, it's going to be that little distraction and take the balance, little, take the balance away. Uh, but if you do miss it, right, you're still covering. The leg still covers. Kevin Tabosa, Oyata Shinchuho Rokudan. Matt Bernier, Oyata Shinchuho Godan. All right, so there was, uh, you can see that. Um, you know, I tried to teach it in the same order that Taika showed me, uh, and to be true to that, uh, true to that uh, approach. Uh, obviously, I offer more explanation because uh, even though he, you saw he had me do the side to side motion, and then the, you watched me struggle through that, uh, the stepping motion with the hand covers. Um, it, he didn't immediately tell me, um, and not in my test did he tell me to put those those two motions together so that it was a stepping motion and that it was a sideways motion together. Um, that was the way he taught in a lot of ways. Uh, he would give you, he would give you some, and then it was up to you to put, put the rest together. Uh, it wasn't until years later that, you know, I was able to verify that, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what he wanted. Um, so anyway, that's that just a little bit. Hopefully that gives you a little insight into some of that traditional training mindset. Obviously, I um, with my students, uh, I try to provide as much explanation as possible. That's just I think that's just the Western way we do things. Um, so and same for you. I hope you found this valuable. But again, I think that there's a value in that um, that that old way of training and that old way of teaching and making the student figure things out. 
you have to get out there. You have to put yourself on the mat. You have to put yourself out on the range. You have to go do these things yourself. Train hard. Uh, keep going. Good luck with your with your training. And let me know if you let me know in the comments if you have any thoughts. If you had any additional ideas. Uh, if if it sparked any new ideas for you or your training. And be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. If you're interested in Filipino martial arts, be sure to check out the Bloodline playlist on this channel. It's a project I'm working on with my cousin Chastin, where he's teaching me our family art of Tobosa Kasag Kali Eskrima. Get all the updates for that project as well. Thanks for watching.